Hi, I'm Ash from Able12.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create PayPal's IPN payment system. Um, I'm not really going to be typing out any code because it's um, quite a pain to set up this. So what I've done um, is I've created some nice um, little pages for you to download. Um, and I'm just going to talk you through here. Um, so before I actually go through any of the uh, pages, well, the two pages, um, first of all, you need to actually enable IPN um, on PayPal. So if you go to PayPal and um, if you log in. I'm going to log in here. Uh, once you're logged in, if you go up to the top right um, and in the search, if you type IPN and then it is the second link, not the summary one, this one, uh, click on that and um, you won't be faced with this page. You'll have like a paragraph or two with bullet points, I think. And um, anyway, near the end, there'll be like a yellow button um, that says choose settings or something like that. Um, if you click on that and it, you'll be taken to this page now and what you want to do is um, on here you enter the URL of your IPN page that you have downloaded um, and uploaded to your web server so that's the IPN.php um, script page and you'll need to also enable the receive IPN messages um, and then once you've done that click save and um, that's when you will start to see that page right there okay so now PayPal's all set up um, basically I'm just going to take you through this page the index page um, if you're using sessions you will need the start basically I've commented things out for you and um, just read through it and connect to your database or require a connect file example below um, which is just connects to the database um, get the user logged in get get logged in user so basically username equals sessions go username you've probably got this um, already in your scripts basically the user that's logged in um, this just finds a premium value so um, also yes also you'll need a premium um, extra field in your database so in your users table if you go to um, structure and add a new uh, row name it premium um, have it as an integer and the default value should be set to zero so when they log register um, on your query to insert all the data into the database and um, just add an extra field in there and put zero um, hopefully that makes sense to people and um, if it doesn't just send us a message or leave a comment um, basically, uh, that just finds if um, the the premium is zero or one. So if it's zero, then they are not premium. If it's one, they are premium. Um, and then under here, change settings here. So email, um, you put in your email of what you use to log in on PayPal here. So on that one, I used donate at able12.com. So that's what you would enter there. Um, item name would be premium membership or something other than on the lines. Um, currency code is your currency code, so um, I'm in England, so it's uh, Great British Pounds like that. If you're using dollars, it's USD, I think it is. Um, so that's how you can change. So you need to enter that. Um, the price of what you are charging, so if you're charging let's say uh, 4.99 you put 4.99 in there um, return is um, once you have paid where do you want the user to go so for example you can just put in something like HTTP um, that's the home page and once again 
um, the cancel is if they cancel the order at any time um, that's where they would go back to um, and custom is um, should be um, is the username so whoever's logged in so you just put username in there or something along them lines of what of what users logged in up there so that's that all set up um, this is the form um, you don't need to change anything in there, I've set everything up for you on nice and easy um, if you want to change the input button um, at the moment it's just this one you can just um, if you search for paypal buttons um, and the url of them buttons you can just put the url in there of the uh, the button image for paypal um, so basically that is uh, index.php um, IPN um, once again at the top connect your database um, I've left these don't change these variables these are the um, the PayPal's custom um, post variables um, so do not change them in any way um, and down here once again purchase check um, select premium from users so basically select the once again get the premium value from the database um, so if paid equals zero, so if they are not premium, you can carry on with the process. If they are, you can create an else there to say something like um, you are already premium, um, but you don't need to in IPM because um, this is only accessed by PayPal, nobody else. Um, so it's kind of pointless putting um, else's in there and stuff like that. Um, I've just put access denied in there just in case someone actually lands on the page without uh, just by typing it into the URL um, so anyway um, receive email that's your PayPal email there once again the price and the currency code from the um, index page and that's basically it that's um, how and um, that's the script you will need um, it's simple I've made it look simple but it's actually kind kind of really complicated to get your head around um, you could use uh, the PayPal's sample codes and stuff like that, but I think if um, I find them um, very difficult to get your head around and very just complicated scripts in a way. Um, so anyway, I've just made it really simple for you. Download the them two files and um, update your. Make sure you update your IPN in the um, PayPal dot, uh, PayPal's website, and also make sure you add in here. Just an example is the database. Make sure you add a premium um, row into the database, and um, when they when the user registers, make sure you set it as zero, um, like I've got there for everyone else and whoever is premium. Um, is valued as one so I hope this helps if you have any trouble or you want any help um, just leave a comment or send me a message um, and I will try to help you the best I can so thanks for watching and I will see you next time